Hey everyone, happy Sunday. I hope you're enjoying the holiday weekend. So say hi if you guys jump on. I'd love to see who joins. And I'd love to see what are you guys doing this weekend to have a little bit of fun. I know there's a lot of business owners and hard workers here, but say hey, even if you're joining the replay, hashtag replay below. But what are you guys doing for fun? What are you doing for fun? So right after this video, I'm going to lay out, go in the nice heat of California and have a little fun. So I'd love to see what are you guys doing to reward yourself for being such hard workers. We ought to make sure and have some play and fun in the day and on our breaks so we can come back stronger. But yes, I'm still doing a little bit of work before I go. Okay. And what do you guys do? Drop below. What do you guys do? Um, I'm going to be talking today about why you're not making money on social media. I'm going to talk about some of the main mistakes that people make and then some really quick fixes that you could do even today on fixing them and then also understanding why you're not making money on social media. Okay, so I'll try and see the comments as we go, but feel free to ask any questions and I'd love to answer them as I go. Okay, so first of all, let's see, what products or services do you sell? Drop below. So I sell festival clothing, I sell um, ugly Christmas sweaters during the holidays. Yes, Static Threads is one of the best ugly Christmas sweaters around. I sell um, courses, I sell, I help, I've also even helped large companies sell moving services. So I have a very wide range of how to help different businesses sell. I'm not only a coach, I've helped hunt like tons and tons of businesses because I was a marketing manager. So drop yours below and maybe I can give you some tips as we go. So first of all, one biggest mistake, I'll start with that one, is not creating a community. Okay, so a big mistake is that maybe somebody's selling makeup or hair extensions or clothing is all they're doing is sell, sell, sell. They're just posting pictures of their product and saying, here, buy, here, buy, here, buy, here, buy. Like if they're following you, they know what you sell, they know your business. And so what you gotta do instead of focusing just on sales is to build a community because social media is meant to be social, okay? So you also have to put some value out there, some education, some entertainment, so you can get them to follow you and then lead them to the sell, okay? So there's two sides of this. I'm gonna cover the first one where you're not, you're selling too much, and then the other side is where you're not selling at all, okay? So we're gonna cover both sides. So the first one, like I, I see there's hair extensions and makeup, okay? So instead of just posting a picture of a product and a product and a product, what could you do to give value to them? You could give them, hey, here's some tips on applying your makeup. Here's some tips for applying extensions in a video with tips on it, okay? Hair extensions. So I, I personally, I don't wear hair extensions, but I would love to, okay? I have hair extensions, but I never wear them because I see girls wearing them and there's always like, like things showing and when I do it, it takes too long. So you could do a tutorial on how to do hair extensions correctly and don't just make it look so easy, okay? Like me, I struggle. Like do actual tips because I don't know about you, but I struggle putting them on and so I just don't wear them and they're too heavy for me. So maybe you could, how to pick hair extensions. That's a good one. How to pick the right ones for your hair or your hair color, there you go. Also, it doesn't only have to be related to like makeup and hair products. It could be related to beauty. So same with fitness. It could be related to fitness, but it also could be nutritional, like giving tips on health. So there's just some quick ones right there is giving value entertainment, keeping it social, keeping it friendly, keeping it fun. We don't wanna see your sales post every single post, it gets old and then you won't rank. So you have to keep a mix, okay? This is the second tip, is you gotta keep it mixed up, 
okay? So what, I, what do I mean by this? Is when you have an engagement post, then you should have an inspirational post, you should have a credibility post, you should have a video post. Like don't just do product, 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 sale. No, that is not the way to go. Don't just do inspiration, 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 education, inspiration, inspiration. No, you gotta mix it up, okay? So that's big tip, tip number two. And all of these I actually cover on my five steps to create powerful content that sells. So if you guys wanna make money on your Instagram or Facebook, drop a, a dollar sign before, below. <laughs> drop a dollar sign below. And I will give you a link to get my free ebook on how to create content that sells. And it will have those things that you need to post, okay? And also you get a replay to some of my other videos. So drop a dollar sign below. I will give you the link. Then what is the another side? The other opposite side is that you guys, why would they buy from you if they don't know who you are and what results you are gonna help them get, okay? Yes, yes, dollar sign, dollar sign, okay. So I go on so many people's Instagram and they're just like, I don't know why I'm not making money. Yeah, um, a Facebook group. Oh, do you prefer a Facebook page or a Facebook group? Okay, girl, I'll go a little tangent on this, okay? Haley asks, do you prefer a Facebook page or Facebook group? Facebook pages are great to have for all businesses. You should have both. If you have a business, have both. But Facebook pages don't really rank. You should be using your pr Facebook profile and leading them to a sell. But Facebook pages, you know, they don't rank. It's really saturated. Um, most people don't get a lot of views from that. So you should be using your Facebook profile to be giving that engaging tips, engaging things, and then bringing them to a link or a Facebook group, okay? But Facebook pages are more for ads. If you wanna have ads or for credibility. So I do look up Facebook pages when I'm gonna buy from a company and say I see their ad and then I go look up reviews, great. Have I actually made any sales on my Facebook page versus profile? Probably not. I make it from my Instagram, I make it from my personal profile, I make it from my YouTube, but my Facebook page doesn't rank as much, it doesn't get as much engagement, so you should do both. Post on both, but use your profile, especially as you're growing, but that means it really has to be engaging, okay? Woo! And in my ebook, it does talk about engaging content, like how to create engaging content and content that sells. So go download that. I will respond to your guys' um, emojis like right after this. Next, when was the last time you sold? Okay, so there's one side that all they're doing is selling. That's usually product-based businesses is they don't get that. They still have to build a community and not just share. Like sell, 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 sell. That doesn't work, okay? Yeah, I can literally look at Instagram pages and give three tips like that. I'm a pro at Instagram. And it's not just your followers. You can make money with 100 followers. You can make money with 200 followers. There's people with millions of uh, followers and they still don't know how to make money on Instagram because they don't know how to deliver value. They're just sharing booty pics. Hey, but then there's uh, OnlyFans now, so maybe they make money that way. That's a different story. But <laughs> if they're giving it all away, why would they buy OnlyFans? <laughs> Sorry, that's a little joke. Okay, yeah, I will respond to that. But you guys, there's one side where a business or company is only selling, 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 selling. So then they don't rank. They don't get views. Your audience is not engaged. And so you don't end up ranking and people don't really see your posts. So in order to see your posts, you go to the other side and you have to mix up your content. You gotta have engagement. You gotta have some fun posts. You gotta have some entertainment. You gotta share ding, 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 results and testimonials. Go look at your past nine posts and if you're not making sales, do you have a testimonial on your last nine posts? I wanna hear it, yes or no below. So if you don't, you need to continually share what results you're bringing to your clients or your customers, continually. Real estate agent that you sold their product, 
or a story um, for a coach. You got to share a testimonial. You got to continually share them. Reshare the results you bring over and over. Okay. Also, go look at your content on your Facebook or your social media, on your Instagram. When was the last time you actually shared your offer? Okay. If you're not sharing what you sell, then your clients aren't going to buy from you. So yes, there's one side where all they're doing is selling and people gets old. But on the other side, I go into people's Facebook pages or their Instagram posts and I go through and scroll and they're like, I'm not making any money. And I'm like, what are you selling? What are you even selling? So I go through and I'm just like, uh, I don't, I don't even know what you're selling. So you got to be clear. Also have some sales posts. Yes, you do have to have a sales post but then share the results that it brings. You gotta focus on results. If anything you need is focus on your audience, deliver some value. Don't worry on giving too much. I'm giving so much right now. But you guys, the real value is when you like do my Instagram training. It's when you work with me. So I can give you all this stuff, but then a lot of my clients in the past, they're really confused until they get the really deep, deep down help. So at the end of this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about my Instagram course. It's almost two hours, but it deep dives. Like we go, we go into, I think it's like an hour and 45 or an hour and 50 minutes. And we deep dive into how to write a bio that sells, how to write content that sells, how to write posts that bring in audience. Because my, my page that only has, uh, this was just a, like a little side hustle I did. I grew it like in two months without really trying to a hundred and a hundred followers, but I was getting 20 to 30 likes. That's a 30% engagement rate. That's really good. And I was attracting targeted followers. So it doesn't really matter about the likes and the, um, the comments as much unless they're targeted. If they're targeted, that's awesome. You got to have engagement and you got to rank. So it is good to have those followers. But one of my clients was a fitness coach and she had 5,000 followers and she was making no money because all she was doing was doing booty posts and this post and pose posts and skinny posts and like get fit posts. But she wasn't providing value. People didn't know what she was selling. It was just like booty pictures. So she had to change it, rearrange it and get clear on what she was offering and providing value to her audience. So if this is being helpful where I'm at, or if I'm just ran, rambling, I want to know. Give me some hearts if this is at all value, valuable right now. Give me some hearts, help it rank, and help more people see this. So you got to find a balance between selling and providing value. And pretty much if you're engaging your clients and you're giving good value and you're giving all this stuff, they're going to reach out to you. One of uh, clients, one of my uh, coaches' clients, they provide so much value on credit repair that people reach out to them and they're like, hey, how do I get this result? But it also shares results. So another thing, a really big tip is, you guys, people have to see your post and what you're sharing or selling like seven times before they buy so for example, for coaches, when you have a, a sale or a new course, so many coaches, they come up with this really cool product, they put a lot of time and energy into it, and then they put it out there and they hear crickets. Or nobody buys after the first day, second day, second week, whatever. But then they don't keep up the consistency. People have to be reminded how many of us we're like, we scrolled through something and we saw it and we're like, oh my gosh, that looks really good. I want to buy it. Okay. But then we forget about it because it's social media. We forget. And then we see it again and then we're like, oh wait, I really want to buy that. And then we're like, oh, like I'll remember. And then we forget again. And then it pops up and we're like, maybe, maybe I should click this and, and read more into it. And then maybe you save it. Okay. And then you see it again and there's less time coming. And then you're like, you know what? I'm going to buy this. But it took maybe four to seven times of you seeing that over and over and over for you to buy. There are people who buy, you know, quick purchases, but a lot of times you've already built that credibility, that no and that like and that trust. So to build that no like trust, 
You gotta have the different types of content that connects your audience, builds rapport, credibility, and you're sharing stories to share what you do for your audience. This works for all types of businesses, all types, okay? So yes, I will respond to all of the emojis um, a little bit later. And seriously, I have, I will do an email this week. Um, so many, all the ladies that joined my course, my Instagram course, had epic results. Like they have a before and after picture on their Instagram because they learned so much that they took it away with them and now they're creating better content. And there's so much examples. It's not just one of those webinars that people are like, here's three tips. You guys, how many of you think this is way more valuable than those stupid webinars that you get for free? And they're like, here's three tips. And you listen to 15 minutes of BS. And then they give you three like obvious tips. I've already given you guys a few tips that you can make today. If you write this down and do it, that will upgrade your Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever today. Okay. So the next one is go in to your social media and look at your bio. Okay. What do you do for your audience? When people look at your page, they want to see what are they going to get from following you? Okay. They want to see what you're providing. And if you're, if your page is just like kind of all over the place and it's like, here's a picture of my kid. Here's a picture of this. Here's a picture of my product. Here's a picture of this. And it's just like a scattered mess. People don't want to follow you if they don't know you. They don't. So if you want to have a personal brand, then make a personal brand. And I talk about this and how to make a personal brand in the training. And once you sign up for the ebook, I will send you information on the training. It is dope. It's only $97. Talk about that in a little bit. Okay. So um, okay. Credibility posts. When was the last time you shared a credibility post? Go look at your content and go check it out. And also, do you guys know what credibility posts? Uh, drop what you think below. Like what's a credibility post? So for me, I'm a business coach. I'm a, um, a marketing coach. I have courses. I have little side hustles and then another one of my main businesses is my clothing line. So, hmm, what would be a credibility post for a business coach? Well, here are some things. It could be, I went to school and I graduated in business marketing. That's a credibility post. It could be, I just got a certification in Google AdWords. It could be, these are my skills that I learned from college skill, uh, college and what I, who I worked with and that kind of stuff to build my credibility to show that I know what I'm talking about. Okay. So credibility posts can also be, I would say for a clothing line, a really good one that I just recently saw on TikTok and I was scrolling and I was really liking this, um, TikTok. It was really engaging and I really loved it. And when I saw this post, I was like, I want those. I want those leggings. She sold me. So the credibility post for those leggings was she had a little story on her spending hours in, or months trying to find the right leggings that were soft and stretchy and didn't tear and weren't see-through. And I was like, whoa, these aren't just regular leggings. I was sold right then. As soon as I saw that video, I was like, I want those leggings. And she was like, these are just as good as Lululemon and I'm giving them to you at a fraction of the price. Bam, sold, boom, okay? So another credibility post is results and testimonials from your clients or your customers. Those are credibility posts. So when was the last time you shared one? Ah, today's a funny day, but this is my cute little light that says static threads, which is my clothing line. Okay. Let's see. So the next thing is stories. Okay. You gotta have stories. Cause people don't just buy, gosh, this is bugging me now. Should I fix this? I think I need to put my, okay, that's fun. <laughs> I'm having a fun time here. Uh, go ahead and give me a, a uh, laughing emoji if this is at all funny. Even if you're just laughing at me, it's okay. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so stories. People don't buy only off of results. People want to connect to you emotionally. People buy off of emotion. So not only do they have to see your post and connect to you and trust you, they also want to like be, go through a story. So instead of just being like, here's my straightening iron, here's my straightening iron, here's my extensions, here's this, share a story what connects to your audience, okay? What is that? Well, if you read my content that sells ebook, which I will add you guys all today, you just have to sign up once I get that, I'll send it to you, is you got to share a story, okay? So if somebody is like, oh my gosh, like my hair, oh, a good example is Monet. So instead of just being like, buy this conditioner, buy the shampoo, buy this conditioner, buy the shampoo, say they're sharing a story of how their hair was so thin and they were always feeling insecure about it and that it never grew and maybe they shared a picture and how they never felt secure about their hair and that they never thought they'd have long hair. And then they talk about how they learned about this product, they started using it, they thought it wouldn't work, and then their hair started growing, it got more healthier, and they just loved it, they feel more confident, and now they don't have breakage, and they share this story. Which one are you going to buy? Somebody pushing the product, or someone sharing a story with a before and after, and connecting to your audience? Yeah, so share stories. People want to connect emotionally, people want to connect to you. So, some of my posts where I've made $5,000, $10,000 were actually stories that I was super vulnerable in. These were stories that connected to my real audience. Say they were following me and I gave them all these credibility, I gave them results, I give them value, I, give the, I educate them, and then I share these posts that really connect to them emotionally. Some struggles, I bring myself down from a pedestal. And I'm like, you can do it too, because everybody can. And it shows that I'm a human, and that I can do it, and you can do it too. Because it is. Some of the things that the lady said on this Instagram training that is really dope, is that I was, I brought myself down. I told them that it is overwhelming at first. Changing your content, changing how you write is going to be overwhelming at first because it, it's it's learning a new skill. And so me telling that the ladies on this training that, you know what, it's okay to be, be overwhelmed and to work at your own pace. It's not going to change overnight. Like even making some new steps every single day will, will get you there, you know, like this. Goes on the incline. One step every day will get better. And I think that's why my clients love me so much is because... I really connect to them and I help them understand that it's not an overnight fix. It takes time and that helps them grow and it helps them understand that it's okay to feel uncomfortable and it's okay that it's harder at first and it will get easier over time. Like think of it as you practice a skill, it gets easier. Okay. So yeah, definitely like this. I gave you some really dope content. You should even go rewatch because this is way more valuable than any webinar you've probably watched. Actually, like, I'm like 99% sure because these are actual tips that you can take today. Like, when was the last time you did a post that actually shared results? When was the time that you shared a testimonial? When was the time last that you shared what you're actually selling? If you're a coach, when was the last time you said, hey, I have two spots open for coaching? Hey, I have this course open. Go buy it. Okay? But you got to mix it up. And if people are bored with your content, you got to mix it up and have a pattern interrupt talked about that and other things. That's one of the things I go over in my Instagram training. So what are some big moves that you get from this Instagram training? Well, it's almost two hours. I take you from A to Z. There's question and answers. There's examples. And what you get is you learn how to write content. You learn how to, why you're not getting enough likes and engagement. You learn what hashtag strategy to use and how to do it, and I, sh I provide examples and how to use hashtags on Instagram because using fashion, hashtag love, hashtag business will not work for you. You're not, it's like literally pointless. Showing up in the millions of viewers is pointless. It's pointless. So you gotta learn how to use hashtags, otherwise you're wasting your time. And it's not about quantity of posts. So many times I go look at people and their posts, and it's like, they have 84 posts, and it, there's like, three likes and I'm like you wasted how much time making all those posts I had like nine posts on my TLC marketing and consulting page and 
I was getting 30 likes with 100 followers. And no, I did not buy them. They were all organic. And I even got people reaching out to me within two months of very targeted, it's targeted, okay? So that one I don't do anymore. If you wanna, wanna get, go look at some tips, you could check that out. But I'm sexy biz babe on Instagram. Drop your Instagram below. We can like follow each other. It's best to use the URL, instagram.com forward slash sexy biz babe. I will drop mine, drop yours below. Maybe we could follow each other, but I'm not gonna follow you if your Instagram looks like, eh, doesn't look good and it looks bad. I'm not gonna follow you because I'm not gonna follow businesses that don't put out valuable content. Not. Nah. And if your if your page looks too personal and crappy, I'm not gonna follow you. I don't ever do that. But if you guys want to follow me, I provide some really dope content. Um, I just posted a four minute little little chunk of the video of the training on my Instagram, sexy biz babe. And then I'm sharing tips all the time on how to create better content, how to create better uh, social media, how to make sales. And if you join my Facebook group, I'm going to reshare my TikTok business, um, how to make money on TikTok replay. It's almost two hours. I had a professional guy that has a TikTok mastermind and he's in my group. I'm going to reshare that training video. It's dope, dope, dope. Okay. Last little tips is it's only $97. You're literally, this is way worth like $500 because I'm walking through A to Z of how to make money on Instagram, what posts to write, plus you're gonna get that free ebook on how to rate content that sells. Combine that together and bam, you're gonna literally transform your Instagram. So you're also gonna learn what content to write, what hashtags to you, what to put in your bio, what photos to share, how to make your photos better. I share some really good apps that are like blow your mind easy. Um, I have before and afters. I'll have to share on my email if you guys sign up for this. And join my group. There's testimonials. There's training videos. Really valuable trainings. And I'd love to see you in there. So join my Sexy Biz Babes group. Follow me on Instagram. And if you guys want that Instagram training, literally it's so good. Like I'm underselling it. It's $97. It's so good. Just like DM me if you have any questions. I can provide testimonials. I can provide before and afters. I did it like just a week ago. So I haven't, I don't have the page up yet. But oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay. So I love you guys. Please give me some hearts. I'd love to hear what did you get from this. Please give me some hearts. I'd love to see this, you know, help more people and share this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask below. I will come back and answer them or DM me any questions, okay? DM me if you want that Instagram training or you have any questions or just go right ahead and buy it up there. And if you go watch my other videos in this group, I talk more about this stuff. (laughs) Uh, This is what I love. It comes really naturally to me after 10 years of experience. So have a great day and hope you guys enjoy your Labor Day. Have fun.